Yo, what's up, guys? Man, it's Timo Got Knowledge. Um, I'm gonna actually be dropping, or well, you guys might get my next video. Oh, sorry, my cats is kind of like going crazy. They like my energy that I have, you know. So whenever I get excited, they just start running all over the place, chasing each other. But yeah, let's take a look out here real quick. Sorry, I don't want to like waste any time, but this is Kato. Let me jump in and look outside. We have a lot of nature out there. A lot of nature. But yeah, he's like running all over the place right now. He's already down here with the other cat. But I just want to talk about my dreams, man. So first of all, what I'm going to discuss is this, man. Um, My dreams took place earlier this year. It's not because I know how this... He's back up there again. But uh, I know how the subconscious work. Like, pretty much um, whatever you're thinking about, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can have dreams about it and your whole life just starts to, you know, just... You, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, when you when you have something on your mind, you just constantly keep... um, Like, your reality starts to form with it and everything. It's, it's going crazy, man. I'm trying to tell you that energy, man. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to just get on with the dreams, man. One, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off with this and I'm going to say the best for the last. So, like, my dreams. I think I told you guys this in my other video, but for my new subscribers. um, Yeah, man. Um, All right. So, I had a, I was talking to this girl, but let me go back to another dream. Um, This is actually real shit, y'all. This happened not this year, but, like, I think it was two. I've been broken up with my ex for about two years. But, anyway, she had left me to Tennessee, man. This is extremely personal. And she has a rich grandfather out there. Long story short, um, yeah, man, she ended up leaving out there for like 30 days, man, like a whole entire month. And after the second day, like her family kind of like manipulated her and like told her to kind of just like leave me, start off fresh or whatever, like for a million bucks, pretty much like this ain't no meme, bro. This is like real life. Like if you had a million bucks to leave your current dude, you know what I'm saying? And like, Y'all getting by and stuff, or would you rather start over with like a house and a million dollars? You know what I'm saying? Like everybody will probably take that other choice, but like me, I I wouldn't want to lose the love of my life. But anyways, I was the one who got left. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it 100. And um, as a result, before everything like ended, like I was still holding on weeks and weeks, man. Like I didn't want to like like I'm a lover, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fighter too, but I'm a lover too, man. And what had happened was I had dreamed that she was with somebody else. And the dude that I had dreamed, he was a lot younger than me. And he actually had dreads and everything too. And man, like, listen, I had to dream everything. Like, excuse my language, man. There, there was like all types of sex going on from like oral sex to like just physical sex, you know? And it was like the woman that I'm still in love with that like I, I trusted in everything. You feel me? And I'ma just I'ma keep speeding this up. Hey, come here. I'ma keep speeding this up, man. I'm gonna try to get through this video because my cat's kind of going crazy. One second, man. One second. This this is kind of distracting. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I had to go feed him some food, you know, so I could make this video. But uh yeah, long story short, man. Um yeah, man, I was I was deeply in love, and I'm not gonna lie, like I was in a bad headspace after that. Like I totally descended after that, and um, yeah. So what had happened was I actually seen the dude, man. He had like dreads, and like he was younger than me, uh, a little bit darker than me, and everything, man. And it just hurt because I had to. It was like I'm in a fucking recliner chair, and I have to sit back and watch these people, and I couldn't wake up until it was over. And when I woke up, it was like five thirty, five. 5 34 in the morning and I had work at nine o'clock the next day man listen it like I had to I couldn't even go back to sleep man like I was devastated and like mind you I was already waiting like two three weeks which I, I would never encourage anybody to do if you lose communication with somebody and it's like two three weeks and y'all together but they just not talking to you but you know they alive right just cut it off bro because just save yourself because like I literally brought myself through some stuff that I'd, I didn't even have to even go through man just like the stuff is actually pain heartache and just like trauma like all this other stuff man like it hurt i lost like a lot of weight too i couldn't even eat man so like i'm just trying to tell y'all some real shit and then what had happened was i was twitch streaming because i'm a twitch streamer y'all could go follow me at timo underscore uh go hard and yeah i'm timo go knowledge here but on on the game you know i'm timo go hard because i'll be going hard bro like i'm an aries so god of war so i i released my, my my beast online and nobody could really mess with me but Back to the video, man. Um, she was watching my Twitch stream, man, and like 
commenting and stuff and like i was like i know this is you you might as well you just need to call me so we can get we can get through this you know what i'm saying so then she calls me and she's like going off on me you know what i'm saying and like i could tell people got to her head and everything another thing is this man she proceeded to send me pictures of her and the dude that i literally dreamed exactly the way they look man like he looked man like exactly it was just crazy like i couldn't believe it man and then this is why i started noticing my powers you know what i'm saying and um yeah, I seen the exa same exact guy, bro. She she had the audacity to send me pictures of like her. She was like all in black, and like you could tell they were meeting for the first time. And then like he was just he had his shirt off and everything. Like I could tell he was trying to take my my lady, bro. And like he he did, man. So I counted that as a loss, man. And I learned a valuable lesson, man. But now we're gonna move on to the next dream. But um, I do want to say this about that ex girlfriend there. Uh, she actually did have somebody who I really didn't, didn't, didn't like. And, um, at the time, like she was dating him before. And then I got introduced to her. Then we started dating. So that was her ex. And then one day, like I did, this is not a dream. This is real life though. One day she, I was working still. Cause I was a car detailer. If you check my earlier videos, I got off of work and then she went to go drink at a friend's house. And so I, I, I allowed it because like, I'm not controlling or anything, but she was like, yeah, I'm going to go drink at my friend's house, blah, blah, blah. Can you pick me up after work? You know, because usually she goes home, maybe start some dinner or whatever. And I'm like, cool. So then like, I get, I'm like off of work and like, we're about to go to Vegas. I'm looking, f forget all that, man. Anyways, I get off of work. I go pick her up. And then um, she's like intoxicated. And then the, her ex dude was there. She was crying my name because I did get a phone call. That's what I was going to tell you all the whole story. But like, nah, I got a phone call before when I was off of work saying that like, he, he just showed up out of nowhere. And like, listen, I'm just going to skip to the house. I pull up to the house, man. And then, like, next thing I know, like, she's in this room and, like, there's people in the kitchen. Some lady answered the door. And then the girl who was talking smack to me, talking about my girl can't handle her alcohol, right? She left the house because she knew, like, it was going to be bad blood. But anyways, um, I walk up in there and, like, the dude is in the room with my my ex, bro. And she's just, like, facing the bed, but her ass is in the air. He, he has the audacity to sit next to her and put his arm around her like this, trying to comfort her. So when I walk in, I see this, you know what I'm saying? And like, I just held all my peace, man, knowing that this is her ex and everything. I don't know what really took in place, you know what I'm saying? But like, I, I was just like, bro, this is just, I deserve better. I don't need to like walk into anything like that. I need to protect my energy. And this is why I am the way I am today. Like I'm solo dolo. But anyways, I just want to say that the dude name, I'm, I'm not going to reveal no names, man, because there is local people that know these people. But anyways, yeah, this dude was like all hugged up around her. And I was just like, what the fuck? And then come to find out her memory was distorted and everything like she was actually drugged, like literally drugged. Now, listen, this is a whole nother girl. This is a whole nother story. So like a year and a half after me just being isolated, semen retention, increasing my spiritual awareness and just like healing myself and loving myself. You feel me? Um, I ran into another girl. She was actually Caucasian and she's actually local as well. And um yeah, man, everything was going good, but we fell off one time, man, or we fell off a couple times. I'm not going to lie. Now, my relationship's not always perfect, you know, like we're both Aries, so we're both like dominant and we're both like, you know what I'm saying? But long story short, <clears throat> when we stopped talking, she ended up, she ended up seeing the same guy that I told her about. I told her the whole story about my ex and everything, man. I told her literally the whole story. And I don't know if she didn't give a care, but like she, she, she did know the dude's name. And then what she did was she hit him up and they both agreed to have consistent, like basically they both agreed to fuck each other. So like he, she invited him over to the house, you know what I'm saying? And then the next day, I'm pretty sure he picked her up and brought her over to his house. And like, what had happened is this man, like, just, just keep pushing with me, man. Keep pushing with me. What happened was after I told her all this stuff, she went to go fuck this guy or whatever. And then he ended up drugging her. Not only that they fucked, you know what I'm saying? Because my spirit guys is, is going to look out for me. They're not going to let none of this stuff happen behind my back. And I'm going to keep, just listen, man, just bear with me. I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to, I'm trying to show y'all something. You feel me? So like after they had sex, she obviously was drugged. She told me that like, she don't remember things and like she was passed out and I could have like put things together so far long ago, but I was just trying to respect like that she went through something and it was harsh, you know, but now I'm learning not to give a fuck. And, uh, yeah, not only she was drugged, man, he stole like an Apple watch from her that was $300, you know what I'm saying? Or more. 
You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, wow, man, she really got violated. And I've actually heard stories about this guy, like, pimping girls and selling their, you know, their, their twat and stuff like that. So, and yes, I said twat because I'm just trying to keep it clean, but not so clean. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> anyways, yeah. So what my what I really feel is, like, maybe he did have sex with her. And when she was passed out enough, so maybe some dudes probably came in there and, like, he, like, they, like, he like sold her body or something. She doesn't even remember. She just told me she was passed out for so long and that she did have sex and like her, her watch was missing. And like, she told me like stories of like how his car keys went missing. So she had to empty out her whole entire backpack. So like he obviously seen was in the backpack. So like, it's easy to just like try to steal from somebody. You feel me? And then like, Hey, stop, stop. Come here, buddy. Uh, he, he went away. He's trying to get through the door, but I'm just trying to get through this video. But anyways, y'all, what happened was this, man. Um, I had to fucking dream all of this stuff, man. I can't make this up, man. It was six months after she told me like she was she went to go be with somebody and she was robbed. That's all she told me. You know what I'm saying? And I couldn't really put no things together, but my intuition was asking questions. Like I was asking questions like, bro, who? Who was it? Was he black? Was he this? Was he that? Because it's like 1% of us out here. 1% black people, bro. Now, listen. Six months later go by, we in the car. I'm trying to take her to dinner, like a place, that she, a, a nice little restaurant. It's called Tony's, you know what I'm saying? It, I mean, it's not fancy or nothing, but it's like a nice little burger restaurant. You know, just everybody loves to go there. It's a good environment, you feel me? And um, as I was going there, I, I had to tell her my dream. And as I was t telling her my dream, I was trying to read body language and just feel the vibe, right? Bruh, she was quiet as hell. She was quiet as hell. And she couldn't even really say much besides when I asked her questions after I was done with the dream. Like, she was like, you're going to cuss me out. And I was like, I already knew something was wrong right there. And I had to just tell her, man, I'm just reliving. Sorry, I just like had a flashback in my mind. I'm going to tell you all this, too. But like, yeah, she like finally told me the truth that it was this guy, the same guy that, you know, drugged my ex when she went over there to go drink with her friends like they drugged her and everything you know so come here buddy quit i'm just trying to hold you dog because you're trying to ruin my video but anyways man this is what i dreamed so what i dreamed was i was actually making love to this woman man and after i was done making love with her man it was actually like pretty intense and it was like nice i put it down and everything man after all that I, I like got up and I like went to the bathroom to wash my hands. And then I looked in the mirror and I see my reflection. My reflection wasn't myself. It was the nigga, bro. It was the nigga. This, it was the nigga, bro. Excuse me. Notifications. It was a nigga, bro. I was just like, no way. What's the odds of this? And I woke up out my sleep and I, I couldn't go back to sleep, man. And so like, yeah, when I confronted her about the whole thing, like I told her to dream, it was very vivid. I told her extreme details and everything. And it was her face. I mean, the, the guy's face. That's what I told her. And then she was like, I was like, I just need to know the truth. I'm not going to get mad. And she was all like, you're going to cuss me out. And I was all like, I already know, bro. I was fucking heartbroken because this is the woman I was calling my wifey. And she allowed my enemy to get one up on me. You feel me? And she's going to tell me that I didn't tell her no name or nothing. But why would I like not tell her? Why would I tell her a story and not give her a name? Like, I was just about to give you guys a name. But I just want to keep it low key because I live in a small town. So... Yeah, man, like she finally broke down to me and everything. And like, I'm going to just say this, man, I'm, I was a Christian at the time. And like, I'm just spiritual. That's all I am, because I understand like the division lines, they separate people. And I'm just like, I'm a spiritual being, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm dreaming and I'm dreaming about stuff that happened behind my back. Like my spirit guys got my got my back. You know what I'm saying? My ancestors, God, the most high. So it's like I understand who I am and what am I capable of and everything. And it's all leading up to like my final dream. I'm going to tell y'all, this is just dream number two. There's three of them I want to show y'all or uh, share with you guys. So then, yeah, um, over the time, like literally about two months ago, I had just moved into this place. Like I was still dealing with old girl and uh, I was just trying to get past this mentally. And my spirit would not allow me to keep this woman in my life. Like it hurt. Like every time I watch a movie, like little things would trigger me. Music would trigger me. Like literally so many things would trigger me. And I just, even when we would lay down together and she'd be sleeping all peacefully, I'd be looking at her like, how could you just do this to me? You know what I'm saying? Like, and then she tells me to get over it. And I'm just like, where they do that at? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like literally.
So I just know that another thing is this. If I was to do some dirt to her like that, I would want to be forgiven. And that's just the truth, you know? And I don't think I would do no dirt like that to her. But if I did, I'd want to get forget, want to be forgiven. So another thing is this. It's like God, you know, he's going to be forgiven everybody. You know, when I was like, it's like the mindset I had when I was a Christian. Like I was thinking like God would want, I would want to be forgiven from, from God. You know what I'm saying? If I was really sinning on this earth and whatnot, you feel me? So I really tried to like make things work and just forget about everything, but I really couldn't, man. And so as a result, I ended things. It's been about two months since all this stuff literally just happened. It's kind of still fresh. And the funny thing about it is, three days ago, I already seen her with another dude. That's tough. I'm not even really with no other girls. It's just me and my cats. You feel me? But anyways, I'm going to tell you guys about this. Thanks for sticking around for this dream right here. All those dreams. I'm just trying to show y'all like, you know, when I when I express my final dream to y'all, I don't want y'all thinking I'm delusional or just have like this topic on my mind. So I'm just... I'm trying to force a vibe or nothing, bro. These are things that literally happen. If y'all want confirmation, I'll make a video and like pull up with all the, the, the text messages and everything of me confirming everything. Like, bro, I could go hit up all these shuddies again and I'll and I'll be like, yo, remember that when I when I dreamed this and it was actually true? And if I could just get a confirmation from them, like, yeah, this actually happened, like, yeah, I remember, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. I will literally show you guys this, man. I don't have y'all should be able to trust me. Why am I gonna lie to y'all? You feel me? But anyways, this man, um, I got, we're done with that. That was two months ago. Now, listen, this is the new dream right here, bro. This shit happened this year, earlier this year, uh, way before, I think it was before COVID or after a little bit, like, I think it was like February, maybe around April or whatever. But I had a dream, man. You see this forest right here? I just showed y'all my window, man. There's a little forest out there. You can't really see it, but it's getting darker. There's a glare on my window. But like, I live where there's, if you've seen the movie Twilight, Jurassic Park, Planet of the Apes, you know, those big old redwood trees, bro. Like I'm talking about like the dinosaurs, bro. think about Jurassic Park, even number one, those big ass trees, bro. Like I live here, like these trees only exist here in the world, like the, uh, Oregon, California, Northern California. And I believe a little place in China as well. But like these trees only reside here. You feel me? So like with this COVID going around, I'm going to be protected because of anything you know, I can go survive and thrive off of these lands and like, yeah, I have animals and stuff. I may have to find a better home for them, but I'm going to just be worrying about myself. You know, like I'm I'm not getting no vaccines, whatever it take, man. If I got to be like my ancestors, you know, living off the grid and stuff, I'm just going to do it, man. I have the knowledge to do it and I have the heart and soul and I'm just, I'm just built like that. You feel me? But anyways, um, let's start off with this dream, man. So I just remember... I was just like on the ground and we were in the redwood forest. We had like a little community, like a whole, like maybe like a hundred people, something in my spirit saying like a hundred and nine. I don't know why, but like, it was like a hundred people. And like, some people were like hunters and gatherers and some people were just like strong people. You feel me? So as a result of just being like strong people, we sent like the hunters and gatherers and everybody to go like get gather our crops that we were planting from a distance and like go get fish and like maybe hunt a few deer just because like we're surviving and thriving off the land you know what i'm saying and um i was i was next to a beautiful girl and i was pulling up potatoes out of the ground and we were just squatted down on a sorry man people's calling me i have to get rid of that phone call but anyways yeah i was just squatted down on the ground and i i just i seen the potatoes and then next thing i know i'm hearing like explosions from afar and i'm hearing like screams like ah like people are getting attacked man like explosions so then like i'm just like standing up and like i think i was the leader of the group or like the the village the tribe or something but like i stood up and then like everybody like looked around and then we heard it again and then we all like looked at each other and just like took off running and what I seen was I seen like drones. They were like coming all over. They were like running into people or just coming close to them and it just exploding, just like blowing everything up, man, that we had, like all the innocent people. And now I think that these people didn't have any powers or anything like that. You feel me? I think they were just normal people just trying to escape the world or they were on their way to that is to to that ascension. But like the people who had powers and like the strong people, even like the, there was women and men, you know, we had a task force group together where we go gather up all this stuff. So like, maybe like now I'm thinking like, maybe there was more of a threat in the woods to why, you know, we had to like send only the, the powerful people to come do all this stuff. But 
long story short, man, um, I didn't, I didn't dream that. That's just a, like a thought, but like long story short. So we go running back to the village and I see all these people blowing up and screaming. So then what I do, man, I like, I feel like my blood boil and everything. Like it was like this, this, this vibe, just this spark just came across my soul. And it was just like anger and rage. And it was just like, but it was heavenly and divine, man. And then I just started seeing, like, focusing my my, every, my 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 consciousness on these drones, and I was just making them blow up. And like, they noticed that we had arrived, and I was the well. There were some people who was running with me, but I started chase. All these drones just started running off in one direction. Like, literally, they did their work, and then they were just like trying to detour, like sure, like trying to run away. So then I like fucking started chasing them, and people were chasing after me. But like, as I was chasing them through the redwoods, like running super fast, dodging trees and everything, like I was making all of them explode. But then I it kept going for like a solid minute, man. Like I have different visionary effects of like exploding all these drones. Like they were trying to like fly behind trees, like in the branches and stuff, like just trying to uh, just escape from different angles, like here and then there, and then some were going straight like that and. And like there was different levels, like one was here and then one was here and they were just trying to get away. But then like the ones that were trying to get away, I was exploding. Like I was running and just, bah, and then I would just keep running and then, bah, 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 and then, bah, you know what I'm saying? And then like, I ended up going to a cliff and then I stopped and then I almost fell off the cliff. And then I was just breathing hella hard and I could just feel like in my dream, I felt everything, how mad I was, you know what I'm saying? Cause y'all attacked my, my, my people, God's people, like my village, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then I just like something my vision took off from me actually staring at the drone flying over the cliff to the drone actually looking at me and i took th that visionary effect from the drone and like i see myself man i was just like breathing hella hard i had dreads on i had my basketball shorts on i had some shoes on and i had no shirt on and um i had my, my fear no man but got tattoo on my chest I, I have it right now man i've been had this it was just weird how i dreamed all this and i was way more athletic i was like super fucking big my abs were out and like I was breathing super hard from running and like the smoke was just like there was like smoke or steam. It was coming all the way down to like my kneecaps. Every time I go like a lot of just steam, which is and then it'll go away and then like come all the way back down, man. And this is my dream. And then like my whole thing was this, man, I sent like a telepathic message like I'm coming for y'all, bro. I'm leaving this forest and I'm about to fuck the world up like I'm coming for y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't run from me like I'm coming, bro. I'm in lock like I'm coming. And like this is my dream that I wanted to show, share with y'all, man. Like I just and it's just crazy. Like over the that was the beginning of the year. And now I'm understanding like our DNA may be unlocked. And I don't really think it may really happen on the 21st of December because after doing some research and stuff, I see that like this, um, we're going to have another solar flare, an actual documented solar flare. The Great Conjunction is taking place and that's documented, but I couldn't find a word where there's going to be a solar flare. But I do understand that there may be northern lights and like this radioactive, like people are talking about it's going to be here. But I personally could not find that information. When I looked and tried to find it, it said the year 2025. And like, um, it starts to make sense because people are trying to leave Earth to go to SpaceX by the year 2024, right? And if you become awakened by the year 2025 because of the solar flare, right? Of course you're going to want to leave if you're not going to be awakened. You feel me? Like, things are just starting to click, man. And like, literally, you guys can look this up for yourself. The next big solar flare is going to take place in the year 2025. And they said that right now, I believe... I did look up a little bit. It didn't give me a date. Maybe I got to look harder. But for this year on the conjunction, there may be a small solar flare, but probably not as big as the next one's going to be. But um, yeah, I don't want to get sidetracked with this, but yeah, that was hella weird, man. It said that my phone ran out of memory and uh, it, it, it just ended my video and I had to delete a whole bunch of stuff so I could keep recording for y'all. But I just think that's crazy too, man. Like how everything just happened like that. It just wanted to cut off, but like, I'm going to just clip it all together for y'all. But yeah, man, my momentum, I want to get back to that vibe real quick. Um, Yeah, man, I just think that like um, what could happen is they're trying to probably leave to SpaceX by the year 2024. You guys can look it up. Uh, next year, they will be launching uh, fuel like at the halfway point to Mars. And then we're going to rotate it back away from Mars. And then we're going to enter back into that same orbit. When we do that, they're going to try to send off humans this time in the year 2024. You feel me? And like... What, and they're going to try to refuel with that fuel that they left off in the orbit of space over there. So 
and then they're going to that fuel is going to they're going to refuel that and then go right back to Mars. I mean, right, go right to Mars. So like that's the whole plan. I study SpaceX. I study this stuff because it interests me. I have a passion for this. And then like when you understand this knowledge. Bro, we about to have a solar flare 2025. And like, I think that's when our genes may awaken. You feel me? And I feel like if we do have something now with this great conjunction, it's going to happen slowly over time, but it's, it's going to become more intense and intense. Like we're going to continuously have solar flares. It's going to continuously open our genetics. You know what I'm saying? So like, um, like that video I just posted right now, it said that like, you know, you're like, the, the flares will have to access your genes, like shoot through your body and everything. It can't do that, but it may not target, trigger all of your genes. So like me using my brain and being consciously aware, maybe different solar flares is going to awaken like a part of your genes. And then another solar flare is going to open up another one. And then another solar flare is going to finish the rest. You know what I'm saying? And like he was saying, like some of these genes could be hit once or twice, three times, however many times. But like uh, sometimes the flare isn't strong enough. So me analyzing what's taking place on the 21st and then i know for a fact the 25th is about we about to have another one it's probably just going to keep on happening to where your genes slowly awaken you feel me and like i don't want to wait no five years bro. you know what i'm saying i need my shit now bro you know what i'm saying like, we got work to do but at the end of the day man i'm gonna be patient and i'm gonna just see what's up and i'm gonna document some stuff with y'all but like i'm really i'm really for this great awakening this, this spiritual shift i've been taking care of myself you can look at my old videos like um, my lips are starting to get lighter. That's why you can see like they're really pink right here and then they're kind of a little dark, but before they were just all dark, you know, my face has gotten lighter and clear because of my alkaline diet. I've been detoxing. I mean, the proof is showing, you feel me? And I'm sorry if they, I just wanted to see if I could record in the LED light too. I'm not really going to apologize for that, but we're going to see if you, tell me if it's all right with y'all in the video. Did it hurt y'all eyes? I'm not trying to give y'all no seizures or nothing, but, um, yeah, man, I just think that something big is going to happen because one, I've I've dreamed a lot of things that was hidden behind my back. And then two, they were it was just all things that happened in our reality. So like I understand like your dreams, like sometimes we have deja vu, you feel me? And then that shit is actually true. Like what you dream in the dream world it comes to, to comes to life in the physical world. Like how does that happen? So I just want to share my dream with y'all because I think it's very unique and that I have this dream and that I never forgot it. Like I can't make this up, man. I'm not making this up. I put that on my life. I had this dream, bro. Like if I could, if I, if I was a liar and if this was a reality to where when you lie, you just die, bro, listen, I would not get stricken down, struck down right now because I'm telling the truth, bro. So, um, that's my whole motive for all of this stuff. Like I detox and everything. Cause I believe it, man, you know? So, um, yeah, man, I just, I just want to say this, man. I don't really think that our genes will fully awaken fully awaken i think that it will awaken but not fully awaken on the 21st we're going to experience more uh, life changes on the earth as well like or you got to think about we're not i think we're going to ascend with the earth so as the earth slowly changes back to the fifth dimension like a higher dimension than what we were where we what we fell to back in the ancient days um i think that's when we're going to move with the earth we're not going to be like super like we're not going to be like you know super sand and all this other stuff and telepathic while the earth is still in the lowest frequency you know what i'm saying not even in the lowest frequency but like it's still raising its vibration so like it's we're low we're gonna raise our vibration with the earth around the same time and you know there's people who's gonna have to continuously work on your vibration because as the earth keep like ascending its vibration if you stop at a certain length and the earth keep ascending you have to go man you have to go you can't be here no more because you have to continuously rise your vibration you can't stop you can't go back bro and this is why i really do believe a lot of people is dying like i do i do believe in the the coronavirus like it is like um a thing and like Cause like I have, I have a lot of nurses who, you know, work in the nursing field and like, they're telling me what they see. And then I have other nurses who be like, this is straight bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So I just have to analyze and think for myself. And what I really do believe is mother earth is getting rid of all these people, you know, with this virus, you feel me? And these elites and everybody's trying to work with it, who may try to permanently unlock your genes, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I just thought it was just weird, man. Like, and yeah, man, that's this is what I, my intuition, my higher self is leading me to tell you guys and share with you guys. Uh, I'm just going to drop this video. Uh, feel free to comment. I don't think y'all going to share this shit, man. But like if y'all feel like y'all need to share this with anybody, just do that, man. And for my new people, please subscribe, man. I'm, I'm keeping this up, man. I'm trying to upload every two to three days. 
Another thing, my uploads will kind of slow down next year because I already got some jobs lined up. If we survive, if we still going to be in that frequency, I'm just like, you can't just stop, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm just trying to like continue my spiritual journey and then look out my, for myself in the future. You feel me? So anyways, um, I just want to start in this video off by saying this, man, peace, peace, love, happiness, and good vibration, family.